The game starts at the center of the field in the standoff perimeter, or SOP. The SOP is 20 yards in circumference. Captains of each team meet in the middle of the field with the judges and ball. The judge places the ball on the ground in the middle of the SOP between the two players. The two players are on opposite sides of the ball representing their side of the field. Captains must put both hands on the ball. The seven remaining players line up behind the rally point line. The judge asks the captains if they are ready to begin. The captains respond. The judge puts his hands in the air signaling to the other players that the game is about to begin. The judge blows his whistle and drops his arm to his side. The game begins and the players go after the ball. The players are allowed to cross the rally point line and pursue the ball or set up on defense. The captains must fight for possession of the ball, kicking, kneeing, pushing, pulling, or swinging the ball to get it away from their opponent, but no kicking or kneeing the opponent. When the captains or the ball move out of the SOP circle, the teams may substitute. The team that gets control of the standoff gives up control of the ball at the end of the quarter. Moving the ball. Players may hold the ball in their arms and run with it, but are required to bounce it, pass it, or hit an opposing player with it every five steps and or run and kick the ball with their feet. Passing and bouncing the ball can be done with any part of the body. Players can pass the ball forward, backward, or in any other direction. Players can use the ball against their opponent as a weapon or shield to keep them from getting possession of the ball. This is called ball handling. Teams shall designate players to block for other players who are receiving or running the ball. Blocking players may tackle defenders and take them to the ground for no more than three seconds. Blockers can tackle the same player more than once. This is called catch and release. Players can push, pull, or tackle opposing players at any time before or after receiving the ball and also steal the ball at any time. If a defensive player converts and gets possession of the ball, then that team is instantly considered to be on offense. This is considered a steal. When a team sets up a line of three or more players blocking for a single ball carrier, this is called a wedge or flanking the defense. If the ball goes out of bounds in ET, then the opposing team gets possession of the ball. In other words, if a player or the ball goes out of bounds on their side of the field, then like in the sport basketball, that team gives up possession of the ball to their opponent. If a player or the ball goes out of bounds on their opponent's side of the field, then that team will retain possession of the ball, like in the American sport football. Scoring. There is three ways to score in the game. The first way is to run the ball across the goal line or receive the ball with two feet inbounds with control of the ball in the goal zone. This is worth six points. Six point plays are called sixers or conquer and capture. The second way is to kick or throw the ball in between the posts of the goal at the back of the goal zone for three points. This is considered a snipe, headshot or kill. Any player is allowed to score from anywhere on the field. If the ball does not go into the goal and out of bounds in the goal zone, the opposing team gets possession of the ball where it went out at. The defending team has to stay out of the goal zone until the ball is inbounded. Inbounding the ball. After any score, the opposing team has to inbound the ball from out of bounds underneath the goal post. This is the center's responsibility. The scoring team has to give them a 20 yard cushion behind the rally point line until the ball is brought inbounds, then the defense may pursue the offense.